What's going on guys, it's Kyle or the How To Guy123 here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to improve your microphone and commentary quality in a free program known as Audacity. To begin, if you guys don't have Audacity, I'll leave a link for it in the description below. It's a free program and it's available for uh, Windows, Mac, and Linux, which is nice. So once you have it downloaded and installed, uh, go ahead and open it and this is what it's going to look like when you first open it. Uh, I'll give you guys a little bit of a crash course if you guys haven't used it before. So actually before we do that, make sure that your mic is positioned correctly. Uh, what I mean by that is make sure you're not talking too close to it, just like this. And you're not too far back like this. That's because it doesn't sound good. So I, I usually sit about a foot away from my microphone. And make sure you're talking directly in, like, in front of it. Make sure it's not off to the side. Uh, th this will give you the best result in terms of mic quality. And once you've done that, uh, make sure that your microphone is selected right here. Uh, I'm using the blue snowball ice if you guys are curious. So make sure it's selected here. For some reason it comes up as a uh, USB audio device, but it's, it's the blue snowball. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and record some audio. And to do that, you're going to want to click this red button here. Uh, but right when you hit record, you're going to want to leave about... You're, just, you're not going to want to talk for about... Uh, three to five seconds and uh, I'll show you guys why we do that in a second what's gonna help us in removing background noise so let me go ahead and record some audio here the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog so you saw that I left about uh, three and a bit uh, seconds of just blank space and the reason why we do that is we're going to take this blank space. So let's say that in the background you have like your, your air conditioning or a fan going or your your, girlf your girlfriend is just talking kind of loudly in the background. Uh, we're going to take this blank space and we're going to sub it in and remove all that background, background noise completely. So to do that, make sure that you have the blank space highlighted. Just make sure that this tool is selected and just drag it. Go to effect, noise reduction, get noise profile. Then you're going to want to select the entire thing, and to do that, just click on this blank space here, go back to effect, and noise reduction, and you can mess with these settings here. These are the uh, default settings, and I find they work good for me, but all mics are different, so go ahead and play around with them. Uh, see, uh, just play around with them until you get the result that you like. I find the default settings work for me, and I would just recommend trying them out uh, at first. So go ahead, once you have all your settings set, click OK. And you can kind of see that it removed all the background noise. You, you can see that the volume kind of went down a little bit. And that means that it removed all the background noise. So once you've done that, make sure that your track is still highlighted completely. Go back to effect and click on compressor. And you're going to want to only touch the threshold here. And I'd put it between minus 20 to minus 15. I'm going to put it at minus 18. Then click OK, and that's going to make it louder. So if you're talking too quietly, it's going to bring up your voice uh, volume a little bit. Now we're going to go back to Effect and go to Equalization. Now if you're a girl, I would skip this step because it's going to make her voice uh, deeper and more full and manly. So uh, if you're a girl, you probably don't want that, so I would skip this step. So you're going to want to come down here to Select Curve and choose Bass Boost. Click OK, now go back to Effect, Equalization, and Treble Boost, click OK. Uh, once again, go back to Effect, and we're going to come down here to Limiter. Make sure that the type is set to Hard Limit, and Limit is between, set it between minus 5 and minus 3, so I put mine at minus 4. I'm actually going to turn it up a little bit. There we go. Click OK. And that just kind of equalizes it all out. Um, and for the final step, go back to Effect. Normalize. Just uh, leave it at its default settings and click OK. And there we go. So here's our final result. At the end, I'll leave like a before and after shot. But let's just play it right here. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Alright, so it's a little bit loud. I'm going to turn it down quite a bit, actually. 
and you do that with this bar here and I'll put it at minus six Let's see how that sounds the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog and yeah you can see that is so much better I actually didn't play the original one but uh, I'll do a before and after shot after the video so um, that's pretty much it oh yeah if you guys don't know how to export export your audio just come up here to file export audio and save it wherever you want I'll put it on my desktop and we'll call it test and just save it as a wave uh, sign 16-bit and save click OK and if I go to my desktop it's right there so if we can play it the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog and there we go. Oh, one thing uh, I actually just forgot, I just uh, remembered. If you guys want to delete this, you can. Just highlight it and click the delete button. And there we go. Then you can export it. You can even do that in uh, post-production afterwards. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Like I said, I'll leave a pros and, or not a pros and cons, like a before and after uh, shot at the end of the video. So if this helped you guys out, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you guys have any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section below. Subscribe if you guys want, and I'll see you guys in my next video. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog.